This is Central Time. I'm Rob Verrett. We're talking about the U.S. military's involvement in the Middle East. President Biden announced this week that combat operations in Iraq will end this year. The 2,500 U.S. troops will take on advisory and training roles. That move comes as he orders all troops to withdraw from Afghanistan this summer. Ali Abudalebi stays with us, professor of political science at UW-Eau Claire, where he's an expert on U.S. Middle East policy. And you can join in at 800-642-1234. What do you think of what you're seeing from the Biden administration in places like Iraq and Afghanistan? What you want to see next? What questions do you have? Call 800-642-1234 or email ideas at WPR.org. Let's go back to your calls now. Stan is with us in Monona. Stan, hi. Hi. Well, uh, you know, when we look at the war in Iraq, of course, that was uh, based on, you know, some lies about weapons of mass destruction. And when we look at Afghanistan, well, it's all based on 9-11. And there's an instru- uh, there's a, a gigantic amount of information to show that either we ignored it and we allowed it to happen or that, you know, we were lied to. I mean, we had the uh, documents come out two years ago saying Saudi Arabia had a hand in it. Uh, the fact that there was, you know, nanothermite found. Um, okay, on all right. I'm going to stop you right there. Uh, sounds like we're getting into 9/11 conspiracy theory uh, territory. Uh, Stan, 